Alright, so good morning everyone. Welcome back to the mod of Redemption. Today we're back for some more chicken goodness. Now I'll hold up my hands and just say it. In reality, this is episode 25. A lot of people kind of describe YouTube, at least in the early days, as you just sitting down and talking to your computer. Well, it turns out that this morning for me, that is actually what happened. I filmed almost a full episode without actually hitting record. That's right. That's the kind of sleepy energy I brought to the series this morning. So I'm actually kind of glad. I actually am. Like, I'm kind of glad that my recording didn't go through because I remember being quite grouchy because we did the Martian Madness event. Now, you all know I don't like the Martian Madness event. There are some things in Terraria, even though I love this game, to death. Some things I don't enjoy regardless of the mod. And the Martian Madness is one of them. Especially in this version of Terraria. Because damn, those Martian lasers are too speedy. Anyway, I did the Martian Madness event. I also did two fights against the Destroyer for a new boss fight. That's right. Um, in the last episode, we did the Zenith of Bosses. The very first Vlitch Overlord. Well, he's got a sequel. It's called the second Vlitch Overlord. And let me show you this crafting recipe. I could not get over this. This is so expensive. Right, so here's what it needs. A gyrus chip. Already got one, but, you know, still requires a precious resource, an AI chip. You also need a Vlitch battery, which we do also have. So that was good. And 50 souls of might. 50 souls of might. This is a consumable. You only do this once. You have to do the destroyer twice to do this fight. Are you mad? <laughs> so I've got 56 from doing two fights. Oh yeah, this is what I got from the um this is what I got from the Martian Madness event. I didn't even like actually look at it uh, cuz it's when I realized I wasn't recording. I got a swanky new hat. I got a swanky uniform. This was part of a little critter called the Martian Scammer. There was nothing... Oh, I got the full set. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I actually quite like that. Is the days of chicken run over? Oh my god, they might just be. Yeah, I, um... <laughs> Everyone's just unsubscribed. I actually heard it. Um, yeah. What did we get? We got this. We got the Martian Tree Seed Bag. So, it throws a seed that grows into an otherworldly Martian tree. There was nothing unique about the event, I should say. This is all I got. I didn't even realize until after I'd stopped. Well, after I realized I wasn't recording in the first place. This reminds me of the um, the little tree dudes that you um, you have to like move in gold, Pokemon Gold and Silver. What are they called? Tricos? Something like that? I always thought they were quite a cool Pokemon, just being honest with you. Um, well, yeah, I guess, I guess we just, I don't know. I guess we dump all this in here and then get into the boss fight. But yeah, I hope you've all been doing well. I hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, to repeat myself what I said this morning, I had a lovely weekend. It was actually really, really nice. Um, I chilled out with Courtney on Saturday and it was nice. I loved it. Um, and then on Sunday, I made the Calamity Texture Pack Spotlight video, which I really enjoyed making. I really enjoyed it because I felt like... Um, I felt like I had good authority to talk about it because we let's played it all those years ago. So I had loads of knowledge to bring to the video because I knew everybody's reaction to every little part of the pack because it was very divisive when we um, when we let's played with it. Not everybody liked it. People actually would write to me and be like, I love the channel, but I can't watch the let's play because of the texture pack. Fair enough. Um, before we, <laughs> let me take this off. Before we crack on, Let's go check the pot, because everybody's been wondering, is the pot still around? The pot is still alive, he's still well. That's right, series isn't over yet. Yeah, a lot of people have been scared about him just kind of getting crushed by this. Not happening, not happening. Right, Um. so we have the item that we need uh, to go ahead with. This is the boss one, we do it at night time, so we got a little bit of time to kill. Is there anything we want to do in that time? We could always do... <laughs> like, I, I talk about it, but like, I clearly, clearly I'm not that bothered about it. But we could always do Duke Fish Run. The, that, is a, that is a possibility. Maybe I'll buy a bug net. Do I have a bug net? Bug net. 
No, do I really not have a bug net? No, wait, I... Oh, right, okay. I was going to say, surely I do. Because I remember we've had loads of nice little critters. Right, I'll go have a look for a mushroom biome. Oh, there's one here. Oh, it's a spider. Oh, my God, look at that. It's been taken over by spiders. That's awful. I'll go to this one. I'll go see if I can find one of those evil truffle worms. Man, I played so much Terraria today. It's it's crazy. So I'm still working on my, my mini-series that I'm going to put out for my 10-year anniversary. I'll let you all know what it is right now. All right, so you can kind of get an understanding of why I'm playing so much Terraria. I am going to I am gonna do in a three-part series, or maybe it'll be two parts, Hardcore Master Mode. And I'm actually going to beat it this time. Like, I am I'm going all out. So far in the recording, I am into hard mode. So I've just been playing a lot of Terraria. But I really, really... The thing is, I really wanted to do... I was going to do it for the 10-year Terraria anniversary. But I just thought, no. Like, I want to get it out of the way. Because I have wanted to tick this off my list for so many years. And I thought, well, what a wicked occasion to do it on my 10-year anniversary. I think that's cool. So it won't be out for a little while. It won't be out for ages, actually. Um, but yeah. I say ages in internet terms. It'll be like a week or two. And then you'll get to see it in all of its glory. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is always the funnest part about making those styles of videos. It's the actual recording part, getting the footage. Because it's just me. I get to sit down and play Terraria. And I don't talk because I just record the raw gameplay. And it's really lovely. Like, I really enjoy it. It's a different kind of feeling for me. It's like when I get really into, like, the mobile version of Terraria. Like, it's just like that. So this is pointing out... Let me turn this off. This is pointing out a truffle worm, but I actually can't see it. Where is it? Is it underneath here? But yeah, I'm in the phase where I record the gameplay. That's always the best bit. The worst bit's chopping it up. <laughs> and then trying to talk about it when you've got, like, 20 hours of footage. I'm going very quickly, though. I will say that. It's, it's, not, going, it's not going slow at all. So let's buy some asphalt from you or we need a blendomatic all right cool uh let's grab some stone and let's go for it this should this should be fun this should be a nice little um distraction yeah i really considered doing um another hardcore let's play but i feel like the responses to the let's play were kind of interesting i'm really glad i did it because i feel like it really prepared me for what I'm actually doing now, like, I've gone into it with, with so much more knowledge than ever before, right? But, I remember, when we, when we died in the Hardcore series, people were kind of gutted, but not in a, not in a polite way. Some people were like, oh, you know, that sucks, or some people found it funny. But some people were just like, that is really unsatisfying. Like, <laughs> like I've committed to this series, and then... You've just randomly died. <laughs> so uh, that's why I was like, no, I want to make it into a big project and, and give as many, like, tips and tricks as I, I possibly could. Um, yeah, cool. Right, let's go, let's go build this little arena and we'll go do Duke Fish Run. We got, we got time. We got time. So one thing I should say is this hardcore run hasn't actually gone, like, that smooth. It's not been like, oh, I just hit record. And it was all glory from there. No, the first one I did went for about three hours and I died to a random spider. The second one I did went for, I want to say like four, five hours. I got up to Skeletron and I died on Skeletron because one of these, or the, the pre hard mode variant, knocked me into the skull and, uh, and I died. And then the third one, I got into hard mode. So I just done the wall of flesh. And then, um, and then one of those, it was, it was one of those, one of those took me out while I was, um, killing the, um, the demon altars. Because I was, I was being a little bit cocky because I was like, well, you know, I'm in hard mode now. Like, I can just bail. I had such a good grasp of the world. And yeah, I got like absolutely stomped by one of them. I got kind of just like pushed around. You're very weak at the start of hard mode in master mode. Um, it was a bad combination. So this is, this is like the fourth attempt. This might be the fifth attempt, actually, because I'm pretty sure I did another one, but it didn't last very long. So, like, it's funny because you make these... I, I'm making this little, like, video series and stuff, and I'm nervous to talk about it because I'm like, what if I actually just die? <laughs> what if I get up to Moon Lord and die? Will I put out the series? No. <laughs> so I guess I'm, I'm confident enough to chat about it. 
All right, that is actually going to have to do it for the Wall of Flesh. Sorry, Duke Fishron. Man, where's my mind at? Okay. Duke Fishron. Let's go. Bam. Bam. Let's see what kind of damage we've got. So technically, this is after the Blitch Overlord, or the second one. So that should give you a good idea of where we're at. I actually don't think we have that good of movement accessories. We don't. <laughs> I'm not even using this. Like, I do not have Master Ninja Gear. Like, do I? Oh, yeah, I actually, I was just about to say, do I really not have Master Ninja Gear? I really don't. It's not like I've, I've taken it off or anything like that. That's really bad. <laughs> like, come on, James. You need to get a, you need to get a hold of yourself. You've been too bogged down by being a chicken. Like, <laughs> like what have you done to this Let's Play? <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, we're not, we haven't got great movement accessories, but we've got enough to survive. At least this will never be as bad as when we were doing, like, Feather Worthy. Because I really struggled in Feather Worthy. And then people are like, oh, you know, it's the same as normal. I was like, no. I guess this is expert mode, isn't it? This isn't uh, master mode. So, I mean, thank God, right? <laughs> thank God. All right. I think we're going to be able to. We're going we're to be able to do this. Right. Bam. And then bam. All right. So we're getting into the teleportation phase. But I should be able to just stomp it really quick. Come on. Let's get stomping. There we go. Duke. Fish on. Bam. We got some scaly wings. You know what? Worth it. Why am I binning those? I, I should keep those. They're good. They're good. Um, okay. Right. Back to the base. Well done, James. You did that without... Oh, no. You had buffs. <laughs> I was just about to say, like, oh, well done, mate. You did really, really well, then. But no. All right. So, let's get into this. Uh, <laughs> I am a little bit nervous. I will admit. Come on, then. Come on, you big blitch. Let's go. All right, so it is a worm. It is a worm. Can confirm. I... I <laughs> you see, this is the problem, right? When you record two episodes in one day and one is now missing, right? Canonically, none of this makes any sense. But in the episode, I was trying to, like, figure out what the boss would be about. It took me ages to realize it was a worm. But now without context, you lot are probably like, what is it going on about? So this is why nobody uses seed bags. I'm just going to be honest. Like, why would you be throwing these down in the middle of this fight, for example? You know, you're meant to, like, get these at this point in the game. You know, it's not like, um... Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like seed bags are, are weirdly redundant. I don't know. All right, am I... What am I meant to be hitting here? <laughs> am I meant to be hitting this? Oh, I am. Right, okay. I think I was getting this wrong. I think what I was doing is I was hitting... I was meant to hit, like, the core or whatever was left behind. Something like that not too sure. Right, let's get the quad shot again, and then let's go back to the, uh, to the Terror Blade. I really do like this weapon. I feel like most people really like this weapon as well. Like, it's very satisfying to see. There's loads of, uh, Terror Blade spiky balls bouncing around. I think it's cool. I think it's a nice setup. Alright, come on. Come on, Blitch. It's a Gigapede. That's cool. It's a Gigapede something with, like, a thousand legs. Is that what that is? can't remember what a giga is. A gigabyte is a thousand megabytes, right? Yeah, I'm going to say it. A gigapede is a thousand legs. You heard it here first, all right? This is such a dad joke. I'm sorry, but like you would not want to have that job where you have to, you have to be the one to count the legs, you know? <laughs> Does that make any sense? I'm just being a moron. Do you get what I want about, all right? It's a dad joke, regardless. I'm a dad before my time. That's, that's the truth of it. <laughs> okay, right. We've got two seconds left, and then we're back to the quad shot. All right, bam, quad shot. Terror blade. Yeah, I think I was meant to kill this. This little, like, thing that pops out. What do you guys think about this fight, then? I want to know. A lot of you really like the, the reworking of the, the previous boss. So, obviously, I didn't get to see the original, as you all know. And I am using a beta version. So, like, is this one different? If it is, do let me know. I am curious. I, I feel like... If I remember right, I feel like it was just... Just the Zenith one that, that got changed. I'm not too sure, though. I mean, take it with a pinch of salt. Oh, my God, we're so low on health. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't let me die. All right, I got some health. Thank God. Thank God. We still haven't killed this, this central core. All right, back to this. We've got 13 seconds left on, on one of these. No! Oh! Oh, God. Oh, no. I think, I, I think I'm not making this out alive. Unless I get, like, randomly lucky. Come here. Let's get the, the buff in. 
All right, let's go back to the Terror Blade. All right, come on. Oh, no. Yeah, I think I, if I'm going to win... Oh, no, no, no. All right, let's go back that way. Oh, God, this is really bad. 30 seconds left. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> I have miscalculated. Yeah, I think I have too. Oh, God, we've got another core. Oh, my God, this fight goes on. This fight goes on considering how expensive it is. <laughs> like, I was really hoping for a nice, easy fight. You know, something to be like, well, don't worry about it. You know, you've you've had to farm a lot for this fight. You know, we'll go easy on you. I don't think that's going to be the case at all. All right, I'm just kind of going for it. Oh, God. Yeah, I need to get better at dodging that. Oh, God, obligatory wyvern. Get out of here. Now is definitely not the time for the obligatory wyvern. All right, let's just keep it going. So he's got little minions, all right? Look, if I can take down the DOG, I can do this. I've just got to believe. All right, there we go. The Vlitch Gigapede has been defeated. Thank God. <laughs> That's all I can say. Thank God. Right. <laughs> oh, second Overlord is down. Oh, well. Was it my creation, though? In fact, it was our... <gasps> That doesn't matter. Gratch, you defeated a black and red worm machine thing. Slow clap. Very impressive. Now, the next overlord is a prototype of mine. It's already quite the fighter. Good luck. Well, there we go. There we go. We got a treasure bag. Bam. Well, look at that. We got more batteries. We got a mini Vlitch Claw. Uh, core. <laughs> Equipable summons a Vlitch core that occasionally shoots lasers at enemies. 20% damage reduction to the user while the core is active. 60% reduced damage by user while the core is active. Right. So let's let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's like a little pet. That's kind of cool. Um, we'll have to see if that's going to be any good or not in the long run. Man, we got some good stuff from um, from Duke Fishron. I gotta say, we got some good solid finds. To be honest, got the wings, decent. Yeah, let's let's see what what do these make. Right. Okay. So, is any of this druid? I don't think they are. So, one sec. Let me just double check. Melee ranged mage minion. So unless I'm missing something, we probably don't need it. Also, I don't think I put these in. Once again, I'm, I'm doing a re-record, aren't I? None of these made uh, any druid weapons other than uh, there was one druid weapon, but it was like, it looked post-moon lord. I don't know where it is. We'll, we'll find that eventually, to be fair, because we'll probably come back to that post-moon lord. Um, and just once again, nah. All right, that's it. Okay, cool. Did I check these out, the scales? Vlitch plating. Ooh, all right. Well, there we go. Oh, that was it. The gloop container. I keep looking at this like it's a boss summon. So I, I, I do believe that this is... This is going to be post-Moon Lord. Yeah. That's my assumption for now. Right. Well, uh, I think then... Hmm. So here's the thing. We're now... In my eyes, we're now done. You know, in terms of just like pre-Moon Lord stuff. Because I'm not too bothered about, you know, Frost Moon, Pumpkin Moon. Usually I'll only do these if... um. You know, if there's, if there's something that people have already said, hey, you got to check this out. Um, because normally it's just, you know, it's the run-of-the-mill stuff. And we're not playing someone who wrote like that, so we don't really need it. I guess what we do now is we go and do the Lunatic Cultist and then jump into the Moon Lord fight tomorrow, if that sounds good. Because uh, we can get this out the way real quick, actually. This won't take long at all. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I doubled these up. It's fine. Right, um, let's go to the dungeon. Dungeon's way over there. Yep, uh, let me get rid of this bed. Spawn point removed, awesome. Yeah, let's go do the Lunatic Cultist. And then we've got a nice, complete package. A nice episode. Oh yeah, so uh, over the weekend, I sort of finished up Mario uh, 3D World. I absolutely loved it. I gotta say, right? It was it was worth every penny. The good thing is, now, if you want to get that game on Switch, it's already, like, on sale everywhere. By, like, a good amount, like, 30% off. So that's really good. Um, but I say complete, because I put up a tweet and was like, hey, I finally beat 3D Worlds. And then, like, people in the Twitter thread were like, hey, what's your favorite level? And I was like, oh, this, this. And then, like, I found out, basically, that, um... 
the, I didn't check out the bonus world. And there's like a bonus world with extra levels and stuff. So I'm going to go into that tonight, I think. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I was going to jump into Luigi's Mansion 3. Because Courtney got me that for my birthday. And that is the game I was going to play after 3D World. So I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for that. But yeah, i got to do the bonus levels. Because I remember, in, I, I should have really realized. Because I remember in 3D Land, they had like a whole bonus world. Or maybe even like multiple bonus worlds. And they were really good. That's all I can remember thinking at the time. But then again, I was like 15 <laughs> when I played that game. It was a while ago. All right. Let's get into this. All right. Quad shot. Lots of spiky balls. We're doing it. Yeah, I, I feel like um, I'd be surprised if we lost this fight. <laughs> Especially after we've done the big glitch, you know? All right. Are we into the, into the, the weird phase yet? Uh, that one's real. <laughs> the game decided for me. Thanks, game. I think the only thing is, it's kind of hard to, to figure out. Um, well, it's hard to aim at because we're using something kind of small. And something that has a little bit of gravity effect to it. But that's alright. But it's interesting. It's interesting to be going into um, into post-Moon Lords. Like, I feel like the series has, has had a really nice pace. I feel like, for me... Although I love how long Calamity actually is, and my favorite part of Calamity is always like the, the really end game stuff. Sometimes when I record those series, they do uh, they do drag a little bit for me. Um, so this has been a really nice pace. I feel like 30 episodes, which this will probably end up being, maybe more. But it's a really nice spot to like be like, all right, cool. I'm ready for the, the next experience, you know? Because sometimes, yeah, series do go on for a bit. Like we've had series into the into the fifties, haven't we? And like that is quite long. <laughs> Fifty episodes is is a lot. All right. Um. Yeah, this fight is going fine. It's just not going amazing in the sense of like I'm just not hitting enough. I'm going to use this, even though not multiple shots hit. I'm just more likely to hit the target because there's multiple of them. You know what I mean? Um. I knew I was going to hit the wrong one then. That only made sense. All right, so I had to jump cut a bit of this fight just because uh, it's going on forever. <laughs> I just felt I have nothing to say. So I was just like, well, I'll just be quiet. Um, but yeah, it's coming up to an end. Um, man, I really hope I, I don't die now. <laughs> I really am kind of low on health and not doing all that well. <laughs> but it's all right. You can see I've got it up to the four cultists. I got it back to one for a little bit. I was quite proud of myself. Well, there we go. We now have all of the pillars. That's right. The chicken will be facing the Moon Lord. Probably tomorrow. Yeah, this should be good. I wonder if they've added any kind of, like, druid uh, twist to this. You know what? I could totally see them doing it for real. I feel like um, maybe some of the items you get from the pillars can be turned into, like, other things and such. That would be awesome. Right. Well, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Oh, Christ. Almost spilled a can of Coke. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I, I really appreciate it. And, yeah, hope you all had a, a good weekend. Right, uh, shout out to our channel members, as always. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video. All right. Peace, guys.